Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and I am so excited because we are gonna go have dinner tonight at a restaurant that I've been trying to eat at for five years now and I have a feeling it's gonna be the best restaurant I've ever eaten at. So I figured we come to the Magic Kingdom beforehand, ride some rides, eat some food and just have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I love coming to the Magic Kingdom during the holiday season. Look at how beautiful it is here. The Christmas tree. Oh, man. Oh, and they even uh, have uh, a photo pass photographer right there. The line's not too long. It looks like uh, about a five minute wait. I just want to hang out here and listen to Christmas music all day, though. The restaurant that I'm so excited to eat at tonight is called Bull and Bear and it's inside the Waldorf Astoria near Epcot and it's a hard to get reservation. It's a very fancy establishment. In fact, five years ago I messaged them on my birthday asking if they had any cancellations. Uh, I would love to take one and they said no, no luck. Maybe try again next year and uh, then they reached out and was just like, hey, uh, yeah, we remembered your birthday's coming around the corner. Would you like us to set you up with a reservation? And I was like, yes, please. So this restaurant has been five years in the making, and I'm so excited to share, uh, share it with you guys later on tonight. It is such a beautiful day today in the Magic Kingdom. The temperature's in the low 60s, and I'm just excited to hang out and have a fun day. I couldn't have thought of a better way to start the day than here at Big Thunder Mountain Railroad so we can ride the wildest ride in the wilderness. I mean, eh, that's, a, that's a good way to start the day to get all wild up. I'm trying to get the hang of recording on my cell phone only because I know it's going to be the easiest way that I can kind of make uh, content on the go since I was talking about traveling so much going up to Pennsylvania and stuff like that. So hopefully I'm doing good. Hopefully it's coming out pretty well. Oh boy, here we go. this ride in the wilderness talk about a wake-up call literally just go ride Big Thunder Mountain instead of getting a cup of coffee and you should be good to go because now I'm ready I'm excited and I think we're gonna go from Frontierland over to Adventureland and ride uh, Pirates looks like Pirates of the Caribbean just opened up because it's a 10 minute wait where's the line coming from everyone's uh, literally we got here just in time Wow, looks like we're going row number nothing. Oh, here it comes. Ahoy there, crew. is always a lot of fun but while we were on the ride we noticed Jingle Cruise uh, is only at a 15 minute wait so we got off and started rushing over so hopefully it's still 15 minutes when we get there would you look at that a 15 minute wait we got lucky I love it now this is the Jingle Cruise it's the holiday version of the Jungle Cruise oh I love the music I can't believe that this ride was only a 15 minute wait and like it was legit a 15 minute wait. We just walked right on. Even the worst of scourges and the best of carolers. So let's try this out, shall we? 
a one a a two a a three a jingle cruise jingle, jingle cruise jingle all the way bobbing your head and looking the words doesn't count the answer is Kirgis on board, but I'm sure we'll fix that before we go over there. They're probably going to wish you Merry Christmas. A happy Veronica. A happy Canoe Year. Does not get better than that, folks. But there's Murr. You know, it's for other states. There's going to be a partridge in a pair of trees, but at least he's getting into the holiday spirit. He's stalking his prey. <laughs> That's nice pesky holiday party. Those meals have to be bananas. It looks like they're going eight. At least we got the teacher to over. They want some eaters. Don't monkey around. Found into a gift shop. A unique special memorabilia. Oh, that thing your child lost about ten minutes ago. Right for here today. But I am going to ask you guys please remain seated with your hands, arms, seat legs inside the boat. Watch your children. Hey guys, your presents here today. Yes, anything you leave behind will be considered a present. Uh, but now I was thinking about how I said I don't want to get any food because we're going to a nice dinner later on. Uh, but here at the Magic Kingdom, they have something that I've been wanting to get and I always forget and I don't want to leave without getting it today. And it's a uh, holiday like uh, sunshine float, like a holiday float. Here it is, the cranberry citrus float, orange vanilla sauce served with Sprite winter spiced cranberry and fruity boba pearls i don't know how i'm gonna like it but i'm willing to try it uh oh my float is exploding here it's i i think uh the boba the boba pearls are popping on the bottom there so i'm leaking all over the place but here it is it looks pretty good uh it's a little slanted i'm gonna try to fix it i got a fancy straw here that uh i might be able to adjust it a little bit we have to preserve oh no that's not gonna work uh oh what did i do I don't know what to do. Should I put it right in the middle? There we go. Oh no! I don't know what to do. Panic. I'm just going in for it. Oh, I kind of like it. It's very, it's very holiday. It's just like a little spice actually along in there. I think that's the cranberry. Oh, I do. I kind of like it. It does taste like I didn't think a, like a dull whip, uh, uh, what's gonna call it, float would actually taste holiday or jolly. I do like this a lot, but I feel like I probably would just stick to what I like to get, like my normal, you know? Oh, look at the water, like the little uh, river down here. Kind of reminds me of Disneyland, how uh, you could uh, see the Jungle Cruise. I can't believe that we got on the Jingle Cruise that fast. Like, like I said, normally, like in the month of December, it's always like a 70 minute wait, but we really lucked out. And uh, yeah, it's kind of getting hot out now. It was cold this morning and I'm happy I put on my uh, new Roosevelt flannel. And I love this because it's a Yellowstone one. Look, you can see like the Yellowstone, but this is a Roosevelt. And uh, yeah, it's starting to get cold, uh, a little bit hot out. So I might have to be taking it off soon. We had to make our way over to the people mover, and then I think we're gonna start making our way out of the park. But you know, I had to go on it at least once. Nothing like a casual loop around the people mover or the Tomorrowland Transit Authority, the TTA. You know how I be, I be people moving. I be people moving. <laughs> My favorite part. It's like we're launching right here. This is the TTA Uber Line non-stop service around tomorrow. Woo! Transfer to... Look at the shot Red of the castle from here. Oh. train keeps on rolling through Isn't the Isn't she a beaut, Clark? Right two of my favorite spots. Ooh. No. First up, Progress City. Walt Disney's amazing dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. You know, the people mover is great for people watching. You don't know what you'll see going on down there. 
you guys have no idea how excited I am to share this restaurant with you guys tonight. Not a, not only just share it with you, but also eat the food. Like I, like I said, it's been five years in the making, and uh, it is one of the best restaurants in uh, Walt Disney World. Like I said, it's at the Waldorf Story. It's right next to Epcot there on Bonnet Creek. I, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but it's in between Disney Springs and Epcot. It's very, very close, and it's going to be exceptional. Like, uh, like the service, the service is selling selling is service now I guess it's time we start making our way out of the magic kingdom and start getting ready for our dinner tonight I mean I had a great day so far though and it's only gonna get better it's been amazing so quiet and dead in the parks bowl and bear has a dress code much like California Grill so no hats you know what I mean? No shorts, no flip-flops, but I did put on the white flannel. I love this one. I told you, it's the flannel season, or the flannel month, I feel like. And we have made it to the Waldorf Astoria. This is right next to Epcot, and the restaurant Bowling Bear is inside. This is a very fancy hotel. I can't wait to show you, and it has one of the best firework views out of any, like, Disney resort. The lobby, as soon as you walk in here, just literally screams like elegant, doesn't it? Look at this lobby. I love it in here. I don't spend a lot of time. In fact, I don't even think I've ever stayed here. So one of these days I'm gonna have to stay here. This restaurant is so amazing. It's such a dining experience. They say to uh, estimate two to three hours. So we're gonna be here for a while just kind of learning about food. And I can tell you right now, it's the fanciest restaurant that I have personally ever eaten at. I have never eaten at a place more fancier than this. And I'm gonna say fancy probably a hundred times, but maybe that's because I'm fancy. Like I said, the restaurant is a little bit dark on the inside, so I'm going to do my best to show some of the food. Uh, but it's also a very quiet setting, so I'm talking very close to the mic, but also being very quiet because we don't want to disturb anybody else, you know? My friends Josh and Taylor always talk about how amazing the fried chicken is here and I've always wanted to try it. And you can see a little bit of the prices for some of the food. They've got the bull and bear fried chicken, it's $50. Then they have a gigantic tomahawk. They have a Delmonico steak for $128. But the thing that I'm interested in is this bull and bear carving board. It is $300, it comes with with the tomahawk steak, the fried chicken, the main lobster, and a choice of two sides. $300 and we're gonna get to try all of it. I think we're doing it. I think we're going in on the bowl and bear carving board. You can, there we go, you want the bowl and bear old fashioned? I want the bowl and bear old fashioned. Yep, I, I want the smoking bowl, yep. To yourself. Is it a big one? It's like, oh, he'll have it. For you. I'm gonna pour it. What? Already garnished off. So we have the glass bowl that we smoke inside, so I let it just sit there for a little bit. Perfect. You make this small batch. Wonderful. <laughs> right? Everyone says wow. the same exact thing. <laughs> They're like, really? I keep it that is there. so cool. And then. This is, that's impressive. Well, cheers everyone. Honestly, let's cheers everyone. The service at Bowling Bear is exceptional. I cannot even believe the level of hospitality that is happening right now. They're pulling out the chairs, putting napkins on our laps. I mean, I'm like, whoa, this is some fancy, fancy, fancy stuff. And uh, the old fashioned, did you see that? That is holy, it serves four, uh, but me and Sean are splitting it. We have some leftovers, uh, but holy moly, holy bowl, holy, holy bowl and bear. Right on the inside of the lobby, uh, they have a little lounge area with some nice drinks, and then you can come out and see the courtyard area. And at the very top of this, uh, you can go all the way up, and I think you can see all of the fireworks all around Walt Disney World. Look how beautiful this is. I really want to stay here one day. And I can see they have a fireplace down there. This pool is huge. Holy moly, I just realized the pool goes all the way down this way. Oh, those are two separate pools. Thought it was just a big one. Huh? 
So I got the banana and it came originally with a like banana sliced on the spoon and they put it there and there was sugar on it. They lit it on fire and it brulee and then you're supposed to eat the banana and take a sip of the drink. I got it because the, the brulee banana really stood out to me, but like I don't really like whiskey that much. So who's laughing now? They wanted to get this. I, was like, I know, oh, I recorded it. And you know what? You could have been a part of this bowl. Oh, you know I don't like old fashioned. That's like bowl. I'm pretty sure we just got a moosh moosh. Is that what you're saying? A moosh moosh. A moosh moosh. <laughs> so wrong. A, a moosh moosh. A moosh moosh. A moosh moosh. Well, it is a tartar. Tuna tartar moose. Kristen is uh, very helpful when it comes to food and uh, the pronunciation. <laughs> I am the food of pronunciation. It's a it's an amuse bouche of tuna tartar mousse with an avocado mousse and a cipollini onion on top. Cipollini. <laughs> Kristen, I'm letting you take this one. I will take it. I wish you would try it. Oh, I'll, I will. I'll try it. You will. But you, after you, after you, okay. after you. Is it amusing? It's an amusing bouche. No, it's actually really good. I love it. I got that onion on top. This piece. It's like crunchy. It surprised me. It kind of like hit me in the top of the mouth. Really? The, the tuna mousse is really good. I don't like tuna. I love it. Oh. <laughs> uh, there is melted butter, rosemary, and sea salt. If you never tried it before, it is phenomenal. We have a much lighter option. It's going to be a parmesan gratacho, which is a little salty parmesan cheese on the top. It's a very fluffy base and you uh, We have sourdough with six different types of grains, which is going to give you a crunchy texture. And we have a new honey wheat roll from Japan. It's going to be a little bit of honey and then oats, which is delightful. It's going to be the sweetest one on the entire bunch. So, that. starting ladies first. Or I kind of want all of this. You can do I want to try all I'll of them. <laughs> what? That is the bread I, service? Yeah, he kept saying that, but then I was like, wait, that sounds good. Wait, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. French yeah. French yeah. bread service, like a platter like that, I've ever seen. Can I also try some of them? You can do one of each if you like them all. Okay. There is no way you could tell me there's a better bread service on this planet Earth. A complimentary bread service at that, at best. Go on a Disney cruise. This is complimentary. Oh, there's a car coming out. Kristen ended up, oh, is that the finished product? That's wow, the dressing. Oh, that's the dressing. You dressed it up nice. <laughs> that is fancy. Look at this fancy pasta explosion though. I don't even know what it is. It's like a, it's like a ravioli. Yeah, just think little naturalist raviolis that came out of the box here in Wow. with a carbonara cheese roux. It's got Montenegro cans, like fungus tomatoes, but it's all finely pureed up. Really, really fine consistency. Top is I want to see a pasta explosion on your face. There will be a pasta explosion. <laughs> <laughs> no bull about it. What are we do? Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. What do we think of the app so far, guys? Great. Yeah. This is like amazing. The corn chowder, I really, really loved. But what about the salad? The salad is good, you I said, Sean? You like the salad? The Caesar salad is really good. Yeah. I love a good Caesar salad, like Boathouse. So and how was the tar tar tar? It's good. It's almost, it has a little kick to it, a little spice. A little tuna? Slice. The, spice, a little Sean. slice? The pasta explosion? So good. It was good. It, it melts in your mouth. So, they, so what I really like about this place is like the attention to detail that they give. They serve like a lot of stuff table side, like, and I love that. And they tell you how to eat stuff too. So they told me that to, they give you this like flat spoon so that you can pick up the pasta like perfectly. And then you put it on your tongue and you press it against the roof of your mouth and it just like melts in your mouth. It's so good. Wow. Another They're bringing me another card, a little ambiance for the table. Holy our moly. beef tallow candle. <laughs> we have our bone in tomahawk here, roasted garlic, buttered lobster tails. This is going to be that foie gras carrot gravy. 
creamy mashed potatoes, and then our three-day fried chicken. Three-day yes. fried chicken. So it's a 12-hour brine. After that, we sous vide it. Keeps it really nice and tender in the center. And wow. then we double fry it as well. Oh. Definitely a process. Wow. Are we all okay with mashed potatoes on the plate this evening? Oh, you prepare our plates? Absolutely. No yeah, way. So carve everything for you. Kind of what? That is too cool. Oh my lord. I am preparing probably for the best meal of my life right now. I honestly am thinking that. Like I, I'm 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 watching him prepare the plate and I'm thinking this really might be the best meal I've ever had. Wow. I've been waiting five years to have this steak on for my birthday. 2023 is the year because it's been the best year of my life. So cheers. Everybody got a piece of the tomahawk steak, the fried chicken, the mashed potatoes, the carrot gravy, the lobster. I mean, this is a huge meal. That that board is $300. We got to take this home to Gracie. What was your favorite thing, Kristen? My favorite thing I ate so far, I think was the pasta explosion. I passed your Napoleon. Yo, that Napoleon looks amazing. Oh, there's the lemon. Close enough. Look at the potato. That's gonna be our lemon, so we candy every part of a Meyer lemon. So we make a slit in the bottom, we take the insides out, candy the skin in simple syrup, gives it like a thin gummy bear-like texture on the outside, perfectly edible. And then in the center, we take the original inside, we make a lemon curd and a lemon sorbet. So we add that to the candied skin, complement it with a little bit of chantilly cream, and of course, the sugar bread cookie on top as well. Who's bir and the birthday for the candle we have here? Right here. It's the only candle we could find. It was the only candle we could find. This doesn't want to light for me anymore. Well, I love that. The Napoleon has a vanilla anglaise on the bottom. It's a homemade graham cracker, almost like crust, with a fresh um, cream in the middle. You have a pineapple chutney on top, vanilla anglaise, and then a coquito gelato, so a cinnamon and uh, rum flavored ice cream. Wow. They said to eat the lemon first because it's like a uh, a palate cleanser. One of the best desserts I've ever had in my life. That is gonna go down in history as the best restaurant I have ever eaten at. The desserts were fantastic. The, the Neapolitan was my favorite dessert. I liked the lemon, but also we got uh, the creme brulee and it had chocolate at the bottom. What a touch. I mean, I, a lot of people were talking about their favorite items. I mean, the chicken was it for me, the bread service, the corn soup, and the service was exceptional. I love Bull and Bear. Like I said, probably the fanciest uh, restaurant I've ever eaten at. And I'll be back, maybe in the next five years. Oh, as we gather by the fire. <laughs> it is cold in, uh, it's cold in Orlando, I can tell you that. Hey, yeah, that's the way. <laughs> And with that, the dinner was amazing. As you can tell, it is no longer the day that you just last saw because it is daytime now and uh, I am not home. Uh, maybe some of you could have figured out where I'm at, but I am at uh, Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and uh, we're checking in for a little staycation uh, for a little early birthday present. You know, uh, since I have plans of going home and celebrating the holidays, and when I say that, I plan on going home and I'm gonna drive there with Gracie and I'm gonna stay there uh, like the week of Christmas all the way up to New Year's and I don't plan on coming back to Florida until 2024 or the day before I think I'm coming back for New Year's Eve so uh, it's gonna be a lengthy uh, road trip and I'm gonna be gone so I want to kind of do a lot of fun festive stuff here in the parks and uh, also for my birthday so 
we're going to be doing a couple of Fort Worthiness uh, videos. We're going to be uh, spending time going around and doing some of the activities. I thought it would be fun. Uh, I know that this uh, is not the meaning of like 12 days of Christmas, but I thought it'd be fun if I can try to put uh, maybe 12 days of videos together and uh, just kind of video just random day of the life stuff for me. And I know it wouldn't be like the best quality of content, uh, but uh, I think I could uh, like make it a little fun. So I figured I would uh, make each video going up to uh, Christmas and kind of document my travels up north a little bit and uh, share my Christmas with you. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Kind of kicking it off now and uh, be on the lookout. More uh, videos to come and a little Fort Wilderness staycation and uh, some adventures to Pennsylvania. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. This is my first time staying at uh, Fort Wilderness during the holiday season. So uh, Gracie is also excited to be staying here with me. And uh, it's going to be a, a nice little adventure. You want to go for a quick walk to the uh, dog park? You want to go to the dog park? We'll show them the dog park real quick. Wagon Trails Dog Park. Look at this. Pluto right there. They got a big dog park for the big dogs. And they got a little dog park for the dogs under 30 pounds. I mean, did I say that right? <laughs> They're both pretty big. Uh, plenty of space to run around. What are you looking at? Gracie loves it here because there's so many interesting sounds. Yes, aren't there? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, look at her hat. She is so pumped. <laughs> Gracie! What? Are you back at your favorite little dog park? She loves it here. Holy moly. She loves running around here too, and it's always busy, but Gracie really doesn't like being around other dogs. She uh, got uh, attacked by a dog at a dog park in Davenport about, uh, I don't know, I'd say five years ago maybe, and she's just never been the same. Oh boy, glad I caught that on camera. No privacy at all in this place, and I got my Dalmatian dad hat on. It kind of felt perfect. I literally put this hat on just to come to the dog park. I picked the wrong dog park to be wearing white shoes. Or should I say I picked the wrong day to be wearing white shoes at a dog park. But, you know, they clean it up here. I cleaned up Gracie's little, uh, poop poop. Poop poop. 